Given attention to small businesses, $349 billion is now available, and two restaurateurs from Denver helped shape that plan. Sean Boyd joins us live, and Sean, program got off to kind of a rocky start, but now it's really helping Colorado businesses. Dominic, the Small Business Administration had just seven days to implement this massive program. And to give you an idea of demand in Colorado alone, it has approved more than 28,000 loans worth nearly $6 billion. The two restaurateurs who helped create the program are among those to benefit from it, hiring back hundreds of their workers to mass produce meals for the needy. Named one of the top 100 wine restaurants in the country, Morin in downtown Denver is making a new name for itself. It's really become sort of like the heart of our operations for um, feeding all of these different groups of people in needs. Do 20,000 plus meals a week. Juan Padro and Katie O'Shea, owners of eight restaurants that employ 400 people. After the COVID closure, they consolidated, went takeout, and still, they had to lay off 300 employees. I think the day that we had to lay everyone off was the hardest day of my life. They continued to feed the workers and provide health insurance while at the same time working to bring them back. Padro, a lifelong Democrat, reached out to Republican Senator Cory Gardner. Cory was was the one that was willing to talk. You know, we spent hours and hours and hours every day. Crafting a loan forgiveness program that's become a godsend to small businesses. They really have made a difference nationally in the kind of policies that's going to save this economy. The Paycheck Protection Program allows owners to borrow money for payroll only for eight weeks. If they keep their workers, the loan is forgiven. We are working around the clock. Dan Norberg, regional director of the Small Business Administration, which is implementing the program, says they got as many loan applications in one week as they do in a typical year. We do have a new gateway for those applications that has been very much streamlined. O'Shea and Padro, among those who've received a loan and have already hired back most of those laid off. You know, everyone just wants to like hug and you're like, oh wait, we can't hug, but it's so good to see you. Well, for now, those workers are staying busy making meals for health care workers, the homeless, and others with the help of donors and workers from other restaurants, while O'Shea and Padro continue to work with Gardner on additional reforms that will help those small businesses hopefully stay in business until we can get past the worst of this. Live in Denver, Sean Boyd covering Colorado First. Thank you, Sean.